Hi folks, hope you're okay today. We're looking at our next part in the Samaritan woman and we looked that uh, she was loved and that she was invited and now she was exposed. If we turn to John 4.15 John 4.15 We read, the woman said unto him, Sir, give me this water that I thirst not, neither come hither to draw. Jesus said unto her, Go, call thy husband, and come hither. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Jesus said unto her, Thou hast well said, I, I have no husband. For thou hast had five husbands, and he whom thou now hast, he, who you have, he whom thou now hast is not thy husband, in that saidest, in that saidest thou truly. The woman said unto him, Sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet. She was exposed. She'd had five men and Jesus exposed that in her life. And you know, that's what God wants to do in our life. It's like you've got a kitchen and you hear uh, some, some noise and you go and you take a torch at night and you're looking down the cellar and there as you go down the cellar you you see all the cockroaches all over the wall and you're amazed at the at what's happened to the foundations of your house God shines the torch on the cockroaches of our life and he exposes the rotten foundations that we built our lives on and that's what God wants to do you turn to Romans 3.23 Romans 3.23 for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All of us come short of the glory of God. 1 John 1, 7 and 9. 1 John chapter 1 verse 7. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ his son cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin... We deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We have to be willing to confess our sin. Galatians 5.19 Galatians 5.19.21 now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulation, wrath, strife, sedition, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, reveling, and such like, of which I tell you before, as I have told you in times past, that which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. If we're going to know God, he'll expose our sin, and he'll show us our sin, He'll show us our failure. Are you willing for that? Are you willing to be honest before Him? He wants you to be honest today.